haven't aired this in a long time. <laughs> it's been a while, ain't it? Well, this is, yeah, this is the original version that we did with, I mean, it's not the original, it's the original cover that right. we did with Danny Wild, but, you know, I always hear it now with Chris singing it. So what year was this one? 99, I think. Wow. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Might have been 2000. No, it was 99. Okay. Saturday with Ted continues on News Talk 1010. Take it, this is about to end. <clears throat> Welcome back to the program. It is 2.09 at News Talk 1010, uh, the music of uh, Jesse Cook, um, the amazing Jesse Cook. And he <laughs> joins me and Bill in studio. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. And nice to meet you. And, and Bill. Bill I've met before, but, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I have to say I'm amazed that you have a, a musical director. It's fantastic. The only talk show, I think, in radio That's talk show in, in the country, at least, yeah. as far as I know. Anywhere. Yeah. Um, it's fantastic. Are you gonna you're gonna well, play while I'm talking? Or are you gonna give me like a little? Theme well, it depends music? on how musical. He does requests too. Oh, I does do, he really? I do your whole <laughs> my whole catalog. I'd like to actually hear that on a piano. I think yeah. that'd be awesome. I, I guess, I guess uh, the two you first met was at the uh, the Beaches Jazz Festival years ago. Yeah, when he was a young guy, and it was his mom <laughs> called. Yeah, and yeah. She says, "Can we find Jesse a spot on the <laughs> festival? He's really good." Come on, yeah, I was thirty at the time, but my mom still called. She was, you know. Looking out for me. Well, you, you, well, your mom would know how to do this, how to how to get this kind of stuff happening, because with her television and film background as, as a producer, right? It's true. She was a television yeah. producer for The Nature of Things for uh, decades, decades. Well, I mean, that's when you're a producer. That's you know how to pick up phone calls and annoy somebody until they say yes. Well, you know, you would think that, but actually, because she worked for the CBC, she yeah. she had none of those skills. Networking, you know, sort of going out there and schmoozing, <laughs> that wasn't part of what she did, because, you know, she had a gig. She had a job that was going to go on for decades. She didn't have to worry about her next paycheck, you know. Yeah. So she was, uh, yeah, she was good at making films, but not good at schmoozing. So that's probably why I'm the same way. The nature of things, huh? Yeah. That's just a great show. It was a great show. Yeah, long, long time, long running. Uh, yeah. Iconic program on, on the Mother Corp. As they, the, yes, as yes, they the Mothership. It was, uh, no, it was a fantastic show. And as a kid, you know, I mean, David Suzuki, when he first came to Toronto, he lived at our house for a while when he was looking for a place. And, and then when I went to college... See, if, I were, you see, if you'd known what you know now, would, it would have been great to really screw with them. Just like one night, turn the air, the air conditioning on while he's asleep. <laughs> Next night, turn the heat up completely. <laughs> just confuse, confuse them. What's going on? What's going on? I don't on? know, I don't know. And just stand outside with a can of hairspray. <laughs> I'm a cruel, sick guy, you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? You you sold more than a, a million albums around Did I? the world. That's what it says here. And oh, I'm, it must why, be right. It's your press release. Why would they lie? Yeah. No, I think that was a, a while back. I mean, it's probably more than that now. But it, it, no, it is. It's an amazing number. When you consider that most of this music is completely esoteric, weird music. Well, you know? it's not top 40 pop hit music, No, right? it, it's certainly not. And, and uh, I mean, the, the bulk of it is instrumental music. It is music that has no lyrics, has no vocal, none of the thing. you know, it doesn't have a rock drum kit and all the stuff that we sort of... <coughs> <think>. No pyro? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm really thrilled that I can actually do my weird music and, and not have to drive a cab to support it. I think that's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, it, I, I would think that the, your style of music, and, and it's hard to put out, it's it's kind of that flamenco salsa, it's, a, there's, there's a, it's fusion, right? There's a no, it's, number of different things. It's not one kind of, here it is, a little category, we'll put it in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the interest in that, I would imagine, over the years, has been spurred by groups like Gypsy Kings. For me, initially, the Gypsy Kings were a huge influence, for sure. My, mm -hmm. uh, you know, my um, father lived in Arles in the south of France, and he was actually neighbors with Nicholas Reyes, who was the lead singer of the Gypsy Kings. Now, this is before they were the world famous Gypsy are you, Kings. Are you the king of uh, six degrees of separation here? <laughs> 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 I think we're getting it. No, it was no. I, I, you know, looking back, I mean, you never know these things at the time, but looking back and seeing where my career is now, and the, the fact that my father decided to retire to Arles and be neighbors with one of the Gypsy Kings before they became famous, uh, just as I was a teenager, just as I was, you know, really becoming fascinated with the guitar, it, yeah, it, it, it's a miracle. I mean, it, it formed, you know, a lot of my interest yeah. in music, and it really had a huge impact on me, and, and uh, you know, I, I didn't really thank him enough when he was alive, you know, I didn't sort of kind of deconstruct my own life enough to realize, oh my God, if he hadn't done that, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. I'd be, a, you know, polishing shoes down at Union Station. I have no idea. I, I have no other skills. <laughs> this is all I can do. I know. I know. I listen. If it wasn't for my my ability to yap a little bit, I'd be, um, you know, I don't even know if I could polish shoes. That's how much lower I am than you are on this, uh, on this deal. 
You, uh, uh, we should point out that you're coming to uh, to a theater near us, the Markham Theater, on uh, Thursday evening. That's right. And uh, where else? I'm in Belleville on Tuesday and Oshawa on Friday. I don't have your complete itinerary here. I just have this one thing there, so I apologize for that. that that's okay. Do you, are you doing much traveling outside the country right now? Uh, right now, I'm actually making a record. I'm not touring at all. But we decided, you know, it, if I make a record for long enough, um, all the guys in the band are going to quit and look for, you know, new employment. So we went out to do a tour just, you know, in the fall so we can get out and make sure we're still a band and still know how to play these songs. And we're actually going... On this tour, we're going to some country or some uh, small cities that we've never been to. You know, and I've toured Canada like most Canadian musicians a lot, uh, but we're going to be going up to Fort McMurray and places like that that I've you know I've never seen. And I'm actually really looking forward to. You know what? I was going to say the same yeah. thing. As long as you're not going in the middle of February, <laughs> it'd probably be a really cool, uh, an interesting experience. Well, you know what? I'm going to go and look at the Tarzans. I mean, you know, there's been a lot said about that, mm -hmm. and it's a big concern for a lot of people. And I want to go and see it. You know, myself. All right. More with Jesse Cook when we return in a moment. It's 2.15 at News Talk 1010. Time saver traffic right now. Uh, we'll come back. He said, oh, I graduated, but where's that job? Well, yeah. it's gone. Well, now you're screwed. Now that's it. I, I, told, uh, I asked a teacher at Berkeley what he thought I should do. I said, I've been offered this score. I'd be traveling around the world and composing music for this dance company. And, you know, do you think I should stay and finish my school or take the job? And he goes, you know what? If I could take that job, I'd take it and leave. <laughs> so I think you should right, do it. I'm you out of here. Yeah. So, it was one of those things. But at that point, I'd done four years of music education. And, you know, music colleges always assume that they are the only ones who know how to teach music. And therefore, there's no transfer credits accepted. So, that, you know, I just thought four years, you know, if I'd stayed at one school, it would have been a degree. But right. And a school's only to get you the tools. Get you kind of going. Ready. Yeah, the rest of it. <coughs> You're going to be learning the rest of your life. So. Yeah. Okay, coming back. <clears throat> the music of uh, Jesse Cook right here on News Talk 1010. Is this from your most recent CD that we're listening? No, that's actually an old one. I that's think that, that's a song called uh, Vertigo. I think Dan has just picked uh, a number of different yeah. uh, selections of uh, yeah, he's yeah. a big fan of yours. Oh, no, that's nice. That's mm -hmm. So the, the 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 album that you're working on right now, I mean, it, I still call it album. So do you call them albums? I call them album. I call them records. All you know, I have yeah. no idea. The fact is, why call them CDs? Nobody buys CDs anymore, anyway. So well, that's true. Too. Yeah, yeah. You should call it. This is my next collection of MP3 downloads for torrent <laughs> sites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you, uh, you, are you gonna are you gonna put out a new cassette soon? <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, nobody ever the said that. coming back. Yeah. I never went to that point. Eight track. I'm, I'm recording. Uh, the Beatles are putting out a new eight track. But you know. <laughs> Cassettes are coming back. Are they? Yeah, there's well, a, there was a whole piece on how people were buying cassettes, uh, especially especially from independent bands because they are so cheap to make. Really, that's and bizarre. They're selling it again, and they're they're really picking up. I don't get it. I, I mean, vinyl, yeah. I get. I can understand the vinyl thing, but the cassette thing, I I never liked cassette. I mean, reel to reel yeah. tape, a whole other beast. I mean, unbelievable yeah. the sound quality. Reel to reel tape it still beats digital. I think. Yeah. Yeah. But people are backing off on the LPs because the LPs are like forty dollars each. The ones that are out there now, like the actual album albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're selling. That's what they sell for in stores because yeah. they're high end and they're analog. Most of them, the yeah, sound yeah, yeah. and everything, so it goes back. But that's what they sell for. Wow. Really expensive. That's a lot of cash. You you uh, performed on the Tonight Show. I did. I did. That was completely surreal. With uh, Jay Leno. Jay Leno. Yeah, and uh, Charlotte Church, and it was a completely strange experience. I should tell you, uh, I went I went on the Tonight Show exactly a week after my father passed away. Wow. So I was a basket case. I mean, I, I, you have no idea. I was really, you know, in turmoil. I didn't know what was going on, and, and my emotions were just, you know, up and down. It was horrible. It was horrible. And yet it was like the biggest gig of your life, probably. I mean, I, you know, I, don't, I can't think of anything I've done that had a bigger viewership. Um, so it was also terrifying, you know, mixed terror into mm -hmm. all those other emotions, and it was a very strange night. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and could could you see the, the the reaction after you were on? I mean, could you could you quantify it in in sales, for example, or did your agent's uh, phone start ringing more and more? Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, for one thing, um, I think when originally when we were invited to go on, it was going to be Charlotte Church and I going up and talking to Jay, and then you know somehow in the thing, Charlotte went you know was invited to the couch and I sat with the band, and and I don't think it was really even mentioned uh, 
during the broadcast that it was actually my band and my arrangement mm -hmm. that we were playing or anything. Uh, and then the next day, apparently, people were phoning into to Joe <coughs> Leno, and I think he announced it on the air that, oh, we got so many calls, we should say that guitarist last night was Jesse Cook. Uh, yeah. So, but I, I, at that point, I think, you know, the momentum had been lost. But know. it's also different now. I mean, there's so many uh, talk shows. If you had gone on years ago, of course,